Hello friends, in this video we will learn about JSON syntax. So here you can see that JSON syntax has few rules. All the data in JSON syntax is in key value pairs and the data is separated by commas and there are JSON objects which are enclosed in curly brackets and there are something called JSON arrays which are in square brackets. So here you can see a key value pair. A key value pair con consists of a key followed by a colon. This is followed by a value. So the key in JSON is always in double quotes. The value can be in double quotes if it is a string. So now we will see what can be valued. The values in JSON can be a string, a number, an object, an array, a boolean or null. So here you can see this apple is a this is a string variable it is enclosed in double quotes and this number variable is not enclosed in double quotes then an object it starts with a curly bracket and ends with a curly bracket and it contains key value pairs which is separated by commas and then an array means a list it con it contains variables which are separated by commas so in this case it is an array of strings because it contains this apple which is a string then a comma then another string then comma then another string so it contains objects or strings or numbers separated by commas so this is an array of strings and then the value can be boolean which be, which means it can be true or false and the value of the key can be null means no value so here this is json string here you can see apple is the json string it is enclosed in double quotes The numbers in JSON can be an integer or a floating point and it is not enclosed in double quotes. So here the value of this key is a JSON object. Okay, you, it is it starts with a curly bracket, ends with a curly bracket, and it is it contains key value pairs which is separated by commas. So this is a JSON object. And this whole thing is also a JSON object. So this JSON object contains a key value pair which is fruit and its value. And value of this fruit is another JSON object which contains more key value pairs which are name, apple, color red and count five. Now JSON arrays. JSON arrays start with square bracket and end with square bracket. So here the value of this key fruits is a JSON array. And here it is an array of strings because these are strings separated by commas. And here is another example where the array is an array of numbers separated by commas. And here in this example, this is an array of objects. Okay, here is the first object which starts with curly bracket, ends with curly bracket. Then there is comma. Then there is the second object, after it another comma and then the third object and then the square bracket. So this value of this fruits is a JSON array and this whole thing is JSON object which contains key value pair. So JSON booleans means the value of key is either true or false. And the value of the key can also be null. In Sketchware, the map variable code is hash map string object. So this represents a JSON object, which means a key value pair. Here the key is string and the value is object. Okay, so this color will be a string variable and this green will be a an object 
and here this 5 will be an object and the list map in sketchware is array list hash map string object so this is an array of map variables or you can say a list of map variables so here is the first json object then a comma then second json object then comma then third json object and this is enclosed in square brackets so this is an array of array of json objects so that's on this video thank you very much for watching this